so we are starting with the experiment of mpn most probable number which is to ascertain the presence of bacteria so for that we are going to use different glassware and chemicals the first and foremost thing is we require medicated uh, cotton then we require special types of tubes called as durham tube these tubes as you can see they are about 2.5 mm in diameter about 2.5 to 3 cm in height such small tubes are there which are to be inserted in inverted fashion in the tubes then this is the maconky broth then this is a set of 15 tubes the bigger one are called double strength smaller one the single strength so this is a set, a set of 15 tubes set 1 set 2 for the two samples that we are going to test first is the corporation uh, water and second is the bore water so we will start with the experimentation now so we are starting with the experimentation now so for that we have to fill the tubes so 50 ml tube it is forming set a 25 ml tube it is forming set b and 10 ml tubes it is forming set c five tubes each now in uh, first tube that is 50 ml tube we are going to pour 25 ml double strength maconkey broth then we are going to pour 12 ml double strength maconkey broth into 25 ml tube for set b and we are going to pour 5 ml double strength maconkey broth into each 10 ml tube in set c so as a sample we are showing that we are filling one tube each so first 25 ml is being filled now we are filling yes so 25 ml is been filled now we will be filling 10 ml 12 ml not 10 but 12 such five tubes of each set we will be filling and we will fill this for such two samples so now we have filled all the 15 tubes for first sample and 15 tubes for second sample with the required quantity of maconkey broth so that is 25 ml 12 ml and 5 ml now we are going to insert the durham tube we had already shown to you now this durham tube is to be inserted in a special manner such that there are no air bubbles so it is to be inverted then in invert the it will float initially so put your hand on that invert the tube several times couple of times and yes with the further part now we will be 
actually putting the tube as well as the pipettes which we will be using afterwards for filling up the pulp. Now we will be putting it into the autoclave. So autoclave it is a pressurized chamber uh, and you can see the coil. So we are putting distilled water into the autoclave. set of beakers for two samples and the two pipettes for two samples close the chamber Now we will switch on the auto claim and we will keep it in chamber and we will raise the temperature to around 120 to 160 degrees Celsius also the pressure will rise to the desired level and after the pressure rises to desired level we will keep it for around 20 minutes to half hour. As you can see, we have kept it in the autoclave and we have kept it for sufficient time and the pressure is also maintained. You can see the pointer has come into the green zone. So now we will stop it, we will cool it, bring it to the room temperature and then the further part of putting the sample will be done uh, in the airflow bench. So after sufficient time, the pressure in the uh, autoclave has come down to zero. Now we are going to open it. We will take out the beakers. Now these beakers are covered with paper and the reason is we want to cover, uh, avoid any contamination that will happen from the surrounding air. And that is why the pipettes and the set of beakers is covered with papers. Now we will allow these uh, tubes to cool down to room temperature and then we will fill the required dose, required amount of samples into the tubes. Now we are starting with the filling up the, of, of the sample in the tubes which we have sterilized. So in set A we have to put 10 ml of the sample so what we are going to do is we are going to show you one tube from each category so 10 ml in set A 1 ml in set B 0 and 0.1 ml in set C so all the tubes will be filled like this for sample 1 as well as sample 2 and then they will be put in the incubator. So now we have kept the samples in incubator and the incubator is maintained at 37 degrees Celsius. You can see it is just switched on. So we have adjust the temperature to 37. Currently it is showing little higher temperature but it will come down. So we will adjust it to 37 and it will be maintained at 37. So it is already there in Goli. Don't disturb it. Yeah. So as it is started just now, 
it is showing us a temperature of slightly higher or different but it will switch off Current. at 37 currently it is 39.8 so we will maintain it for 24 hours and tomorrow we will see what happens to those tubes and especially the Durham tube if they develop gas it is an indication that bacteria are present so the next part we will see after 24 hours so now 24 hours are over and we are going to take out those samples Ingole sir take out the samples and just put them just on the top you, you can keep here so can we can show against light yeah So you can see we have taken out those samples there is a slight color change also and a bubble is seen at the top I hope I am trying to show you the bubble you can see the bubble in that Durham's tube at the top so such formation of such bubble it is an indication that the uh, gas has got trapped here also you can see in this case on the left side the bubble can be seen of course it it may not be very clear to you when you are seeing it uh, say in this video but manually when we are seeing it you can see the bubble and also the color change you can see the color is slightly yellowish so it is an indication that yes the bacteria are present now we will count the total number of tubes from each uh, set and we will tell you what is the uh, total number of positive cells that we have got so likewise in case of uh, say the corporation water you will find that there is no color change that has taken place there is no color change and you can see that there is no color change there is no bubble formation so accordingly we will give you the number of tubes from each tube uh, for each set and we will do the further calculation so I am showing you the corporation sample corporation water sample again against light earlier it was not properly seen so you can see the Durham tube and there is no gas formation and as I am seeing it against light you are seeing some change in the color but that is because of the sunlight that is coming from the window but otherwise there is no color change I will show you in the other direction yeah against light if you see there is no color change as against the color change that you could see in case of the borewell water so in all such tubes for corporation you will find that for corporation water there is no formation of any bubble or the color change so it is zero 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 for corporation now we are starting with the confirmation or confirmatory test for E. coli for that we have to use the plates now on these plates the McConkie broth and agar is being poured now we will keep it for some time and then the tubes that we have seen earlier where there is a gas formation as well as color change so out of these tubes the one which is giving us maximum color and maybe the gas uh, that tube we will pick up and then we will fill the sample in this plate and then we will keep it for further confirmation so the further part we will see in the next part now we are going for the second part that is confirmation of E. coli for that such strip plates will be used now we have already wrapped them in the paper also the McConkie agar is uh, ready as well as our PPTs uh, 
sorry pipettes <coughs> so we will be quickly create for autoclaving and we will maintain a pressure as usual and we will say raise the temperature to around 120 degrees celsius this plate was just to show you how the plate looks like it is not kept in the autoclave so the plate and the lid so such plates and leads are kept so that before we you know uh, strip out the sample that the gas has got produced our glassware should be completely sterilized so now we have put the glassware in autoclave for sufficient time and you can see the pressure has got built now we have switched it off we will take out the pipette and the plates strict plates and we will do the sampling under laminar flow instrument we are at the autoclave let us see its noise level We are taking the sample for the confirmation of E. coli and for that we are going to use a technique called spread plate method. Now for that we will be taking 0.1 ml of the sample. You can see the color of the sample has changed. It is yellow and acidic and the gas formation is also seen. So madam is taking out that sample putting it on the autoclaved Maconky agar and now it will be sprayed and for spreading she is using a specific tool and that too that is also sterilized so alcohol it was dipped in alcohol and now it is burned on the spirit lamp so that it is ensure that there are no bacteria that are initially present and now she will use to spread that particular sample on the plate yeah yes now similarly the other plates will be filled you need to put sample in other plates na no? or yeah so similarly other plates will be filled and then we will put them in uh, incubator for further incubation spreading the sample on those spread plates now we are again putting them in the incubator which will be maintained at 37 degrees celsius and these are the tubes from which we have extracted the sample you can see many of the tubes for borewell they have changed to yellow these are our two samples the borewell water and the corporation water you can see when the bacteria are present what is the difference in color and when they are absent what is the difference in color now these same samples further we have used for the confirmation of e coli